Hi everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I am here today on this fabulous Monday with a brand new video for you. And actually this video is gonna be turned into a series. I get so many questions day in and day out from people all over the world that are looking to get started with bullet journaling. They're not really sure where to start, where to begin. So I thought I would create this series for you. And originally I was just gonna do one big video, one blog post over on my blog, kind of with a getting started guide. But as I started throwing everything together, I realized that I really had so much information to cover that I wanted to turn this into a series for you all. So every Monday during the month of September, I'm gonna be coming to you with a brand new part in this series, which I'm calling Bullet Journal 101. And bullet journaling is a really simple method of getting yourself organized, especially when you break it down to its bare bones and, and the original concept. Um, but I think a lot of people come to the bullet journaling world from seeing all these images on Pinterest and on Instagram of these super artsy and decorated bullet journals, and then they're really not sure where to start. So I wanted to create this series to kind of give everyone an idea of where you can start, what are the basics of bullet journaling, where did this idea come from, and how you can ultimately make it your own as well. So I wanna welcome you to this course. The way this series is gonna work is every Monday during the month of September, I'm gonna post a brand new video along with a companion blog post over on bohoberry.com. And each video is gonna center around a specific topic. So the topics are as follows. Week one, we are gonna focus on what exactly is a bullet journal. And the biggest thing I like to tell people is you wanna go straight to the source. You wanna go straight to bulletjournal.com for that bare bones and really get the basics down with your new bullet journal. And so in that what is a bullet journal video, we're gonna be covering things like what actually is a bullet journal, why you would wanna choose an analog planner type system like the bullet journal over digital planners, and a general overview of the system itself. In week two, we're actually gonna cover pre-planning. And I know that kind of sounds silly to pre-plan what you're gonna put in your planner. I mean, that's what your planner is for, right? But I think it's a good idea to start off with a little brainstorming, trying to figure out what you want your system to do for you and making sure that you're starting simple and kind of covering a little bit of what supplies you're gonna need versus what you don't need. In week three, we're gonna cover all of the basics of the bullet journal system. So we're gonna cover all the individual parts that make up a bullet journal. We're gonna cover how they all work together and I'm also gonna give you some helpful resources when you're first starting out. And then finally, in our fourth week, we're gonna talk about making your bullet journal your own. And within making it your own, we're gonna talk about different bullet journal hacks and upgrades and kind of evolutions to the system that have come up since the bullet journal began about three years ago. We're gonna talk about different collection ideas. We're gonna talk about uh, your review process, how you can review how things are going in your bullet journal, etc. And we're gonna talk about things like dealing with overwhelm when life gets a little hectic and and how to deal with those sorts of things in your bullet journal. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Kara and I'm a blogger and I blog over at bohoberry.com. I also have this YouTube channel that you landed on here and I write and blog about bullet journaling, organization, personal development, and a little backstory about me when it comes to bullet journaling. I actually started bullet journaling in September of 2014 and it was kind of funny because I really didn't stick with it. I don't think I was at a place in my life where I really needed that level of organization. And I kind of dropped off and didn't use it after a couple of weeks. And I've always been one of those girls that's hopped around from planner system to planner system. I had Franklin Covey's, I had Erin Condren's, I had all these different planners, anything from my local office supply store that looked cute. And I would always start to use it and get really excited. And then I would just fall off for one reason or another, it wouldn't work for me anymore. I would need a different layout, so I would switch it up. And then the bullet journal came along. Again, I said I used it for just a couple of weeks back in 2014, and I really don't think I needed that level of organization quite yet. Then if you fast forward almost a year later, I kind of stumbled across the bullet journal system again. I had just started my blog. I had an Etsy business that I was trying to grow as well. And I really needed a way to kind of organize all these different aspects of my life. I was working full time on the side as well at the time. 
So I needed something where I could wrangle all these different aspects of my life into one place. And I stumbled across the bullet journal again. And what's great is by that time, the bullet journal website had been redesigned and updated. And there were lots of new inspirations out there. There were people like Kim over at Tiny Ray of Sunshine and Dee over at Decade 30, who are constantly evolving and revolutionizing the system itself. So I think it was finally at a place where it was able to click into my brain and I just, I was hooked immediately. I fell in love with it. And then I started sharing my, my progress and sharing what I was doing within my bullet journal on places like Instagram and on my blog. And then I kind of developed this following and it grew into what you all know as Boho Berry today. And I have been getting requests to do a getting started video or a getting started post for a very, very long time. And I didn't do that for a couple of reasons. One is I really didn't consider myself an expert when it came to bullet journaling. And I know, I know that sounds silly because so, so many people do look up to me as a resource and inspiration in the bullet journal community, but I just, I wanted to have a little more experience under my belt before I started doling out advice on getting started. And then the other reason is I truly believe that the best way to get started is to go straight to the source, which is bulletjournal.com. I think writer Carol does a fabulous job of explaining the system and really kind of giving you the idea of the bare bones and the basics so that you can start out nice and simple and then add on or subtract things that you do or don't need as you go. So if you're one of those people that has reached out to me in the past about how to get started, chances are I've just pointed you straight over to the bulletjournal.com website. However, I get so many requests still day in and day out, and I thought that I would try my hardest here to give you all a good overview and give you some ideas, tips and tricks for getting started from my own personal perspective. So I really hope that this course becomes kind of a resource within the community for anyone looking to get started or even for those seasoned bullet journalists of you out there that really just want a little more in-depth guidance. I look forward to seeing you every Monday in September right here on this channel. And if you have any questions, comments, anything along the way, please, please, please feel free to drop those in the comments section below. I'm still kind of tweaking and piecing to the, together the course as we speak right now. So there's still time. If you have questions, if you have something you need answered, absolutely drop those in the comments section below and I will do my very best to make sure that I cover everything I can for you all in this course. All right, thank you so much for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you every Monday and I'll be back on Friday with one of my regularly scheduled videos. See you then, bye.